Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the e.l.f. Summer Breeze palette. When I placed my e.l.f. order, this was something that I added in there. And I had to put a label on there and write the name of it because when I peeled the label off the back, it must have had the name on it and I didn't realize it. So I had to add my own label so that I can remember what the name of this palette is. But this is a matte, warm, neutral palette. And that's what it looks like. So that's what we're going to be working with today. Now, I've talked about this before. If you want e.l.f. products, you it is so worth your while to order them from their website and join their rewards program. It doesn't cost anything to join, but the benefits are unbelievable. For example, um, they th just throw in a random free item occasionally when you're placing your order, and they did that with me. They sent me the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser, and um, it's kind of a small container. It's 3.71 fluid ounces, but that's fine. And I thought, you know what, where this is sealed and everything, I'm going to hang on to this, and if I ever have to do any traveling, or if I ever want to do any traveling, this would be great to bring with me, because my cleanser that I normally use, my Cetaphil cleanser, is in this giant pump bottle, and it would be kind of inconvenient to bring something that large just to clean my face. So I'm going to hang on to this and um, use that if I do any traveling. And also, they let you pick out free gifts with your order, usually. And so I picked out this. This is the e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. I don't think that I've ever tried the e.l.f. makeup sponges. And when I washed this, it blew up really big and it stayed pretty big even after it dried. Um, so I don't know why I'm smelling it. <laughs> but yeah, the, so you get free stuff when you order from e.l.f. and it's really nice. Another thing that I included with my order was I ordered the putty primer applicator. And when they show you this on the website, it looks huge, but it's not huge at all. It's actually quite small. So you get a brush on one side and then you get this spatula thing on the other. So that was another item that I ordered. And the main reason why I placed the order was the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pens, and I got every color. The name that's written on the bottom, even with a magnifying glass, I really struggled to read it, so I had to put labels on all mine. This one is called In the Clear. It's just a clear. But yeah, um, the print is terrible on the bottom there, and I, I can't read it at all. And I could just barely make it out with a magnifying glass. So I added labels to all of it. I had to do the same thing when I got the, the lip pencils. Um, I didn't even think that the name was on the lip pencil because I couldn't see it. Uh, but it is there. It's just very, very tiny. So I wish that they would make the, the writing a little bit easier to read on their products. All right, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to use the Hard Candy Glostopia Lip Repair Oil just to get some moisture on my lips. And then when I get to the end of the makeup look, I'll probably wipe this off. But for now, it can be sinking into my skin. And this is um, Crystal Clarity is the name of this. I placed a NYX order, too, and that came in yesterday as well. Um, so now I don't just have the pink Pro Fix Stick Corrector. I also have the shade Light, so I'm going to try the pink with the light over it when I do under my eyes. 
But for now, I'm just going to use the pink on my neck and part of my face. This covers everything. And I'm going to use an AOA Studio High Def Brush in F3. This is from shopmissay.com. I haven't placed an order over there in a long time. And I went on the website the other day. Um, have any of you tried their single eyeshadow since they've been reformulated? And what did you think? Because I was thinking about trying some of those because they've got some great colors in that line. But their old formula was very hit or miss. And I don't know. I, I hate to waste money on something that's not good, but if anybody out there has tried it and they think that the formula has improved, then um, let me know. And I might get some. Okay, now I can still see a little bit of redness. So let's try the concealer over the pink and see if that completely covers that. Ooh, and it does. I think I made the right move there. Um, I also got with my next order I also ordered this the do you guys remember the ultimate edit palettes they I haven't seen these in stores in a long time but they're on sale on the NYX website and I got the the warm neutrals one because I'm really into warm neutrals lately I don't know what's going on with me but because that's not usually my taste and things but yeah this was on sale and I think they might be being clearanced out. So what else did I get from NYX? I got a lip liner too, which I'll definitely be including that in a video soon because um, it is the most gorgeous lip liner I've ever seen. So stay tuned for that. All right, I think... Um, I've been switching up my foundation and primers and things every day when I do these videos just to give you guys like a variety of products to see and see, you know, what you think. So in place of a primer today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. And this is in the shade Light, which is very warm on me, but... When it's blended in, it's it's okay. I think I need maybe a smaller brush to get into this jar. Yeah. Let's use the um, e.l.f. buffing brush. That'll fit. That'll fit in there. There we go. So yeah, I don't wear this alone. I wear it with another foundation on top of it because I don't feel like the coverage is as full as I would like it to be. And the color is not perfect for me either. Although I think they released some more um, shades in this. I forget where I was one day. where And I looked and I, I said, hey, those shades weren't out before. So, yeah, I think they may have released some new shades. So, if I can find a better match than this, then... Um, 
I might be more inclined to just use the product by itself if I have a better color match. But yeah, this is very warm. But that's okay because um, the palette that I'm using today is very, very warm. Oh, and I wanted to mention about this e.l.f. Summer Breeze eyeshadow palette that when you look at the picture online, it's very deceiving because it doesn't look as deep online as it does in reality. Because this, these shades are deep, deep. Um, and, you know, that could be a problem with my skin tone, but I'm going to see how it goes. Okay, on top of this, I'm going to use L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear, and my shade in this is 415. And it's been sitting around for a while, so we got to shake it. And fortunately, this does have a pump. And this is a real good shade match for me. Any time of the year. Because, you know, my skin does get a bit darker in the summertime, depending on how much time I spend outside. Because I like to walk outside when it's not winter or it's not raining. It has been pouring here the last few days. If all this rain that we've gotten was snow, we would be buried right now. And thank goodness it's been rain and not snow. Last night was the full moon. And oh my God, I hate the full moon so much because I can never sleep when it's the full moon. I wake up and... I start thinking about things and my mind is just so active. Do any of you have that problem? And then usually like the night before and the night after I get that problem a little bit too. So tonight I probably will also have some problems sleeping. All right, that's definitely plenty of coverage now between those two things. So let's move on to those concealers. And we'll try this cocktail of concealers. So I'm going to do a little of the pink. Same brush. And then we're going to do a little bit of the shade light. And hopefully be able to blend all that in. Sounds like a helicopter out or something out there. Well, somebody's running some type of machinery. Hopefully you can't hear that. It could just be somebody warming up their car because it was so cold for so long that I think people got into the habit of letting their car run a little bit. But the cold snap is over, thank goodness. Okay, so that's about as good as it's going to get. Um, all right. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. And I have this in the shade Light Pink. 
Now, remember what I was saying about the Milani powder? Like, the only way to really do this is to take a little bit and put it in the cap, and sometimes it just seems like, like it's too much. I don't know. I really like that uh, screen thing they have on the Milani one. So we're going to set everything with the e.l.f. powder. I do like this powder. It's just I get so spoiled by that Milani component. All right, everything is set. Now let's go into the e.l.f. putty bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. And I'm going to take my putty blush brush. Uh-oh, I got a strobing light over here. Let me see if I can fix that. No, I could not fix it or stop it from strobing. Um, oh boy, if I have to get replacement bulbs for this, that could be a problem. Hmm. Uh, because it's like an obscure brand of lights that I have here. All right, so... I had to just shut it off. And the, the only reason why I even use that particular one is I like to have this stuff right here lit up because it's fun to um, see what's in people's backgrounds. So I just do the perimeter and then I contour just a little bit. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Dusty Rose. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dot some on my the back of my hand and use a makeup sponge. So I kind of spread it out and then sort of stipple it on and then take the flat side of the sponge and do it that way. Yeah, after doing it with that brush. I don't know, I, I just think that this method works better. The brush that they sold specifically to go with these, I don't know, I just think you're better off with a makeup sponge. I feel like you get a more even distribution. All right, now I'm going to go into Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter, and my shade in this is Fair One, which is one of their newer shades. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess off the brush. And then I'm going to go put this on the tip of the makeup sponge. And we're going to go maybe two dots, and then turn the sponge sideways and blend that in. OK. 
Okay. All right, let's get into this e.l.f. palette. I'm going to start with a blending brush. And I'm going to, they don't have names or anything, so it's the, the fourth one. And this is just a brush that came with one of my, um, actually, this is the brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Metal Mania palette. So I'm going to put this in the crease. This is actually going to be sort of a transitional shade. So this is like a peachy color, I would say. Well, I usually do one one eye at a time to save time. So yeah, why don't I why don't I do that? All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clean, more smaller brush, and we are going to mix these two shades here. And I'm going to sort of deepen up the crease. So we're going deeper into it. But we're not going all the way up. Okay, I'm taking a large shader brush and I'm going to go into this second shade here. And we're going to put that on the lids. There's another matte neutral type palette in the line I was looking at this morning, and I kind of want to order that one to see how it compares to this one. All right, now I'm going to need a small angled brush, like something you would use on your brows. And I'm going to go into the black. I'm going to need to get way in there for this. I'm going to take this out. And do like a little wing. Oh, I just realized that I've got that special wing brush that that I bought from Elf that would have worked even better. Oh well, too late now. Now I'm going to go right on the lash line with this. Try to get as close to the lash line as possible.
don't often use a powder shadow to do eyeliner like this, but you definitely can. And sometimes it's nice because it gives you like a softer look. Okay, um, let's take a clean, small brush and go into that cream color. And we're going to dust that on our brow bone and inner corner. Yeah, see this this shade that I used on my lid. Um is darker than the transitional color that I started with, which is fine. All right, I'm going to um, play catch up with the other eye and then curl my lashes and apply mascara and do my brows and we'll come back and we'll do the lips. Actually, I didn't do what I just said. <laughs> I did my brows and I realized that I didn't do anything underneath my eyes. So we have to, we've got to definitely do that. So what I decided I'm going to do is we're going to go back into that black shade. and smudge some of that along the lower lash line. It's nice that they gave us a black in this palette so that we even have the option to do this because have you noticed that most palettes don't come with black anymore? And it's nice to have the option of using it because sometimes sometimes that's just what you want to do. Sometimes, you know, you even want to use that like in the outer corners of the look and stuff to deepen everything up if you feel like it. It's just nice to have the option. Now for a liner on the waterline, I think what I'm going to do is the exact opposite of what I just did. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Bright Nude Pencil on the waterline. When you put a light colored liner on the waterline like this. It gives you like a, a wide awake look and makes your eyes look bigger. My eyes are pretty big already, but yeah, that, that can be a very pretty look. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes and do my mascara and come back. And I used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Topia Mascara in the shade Ultramarine. I love this. And um, it doesn't look crazy or anything. Blue has become a neutral for me. Um, so that's how the eyes turned out. And I do like this palette. And, um, okay, so... What does that leave? That leaves the lips, which is the part that you probably are interested in the most, seeing as how this product, everybody has been really looking forward to it for a while. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to wipe off that excess um, oil because, um, yeah, yeah, I think I will. <laughs> All 
I'm going to use the e.l.f. Dirty Pillows Lip Kit. Um, so I'm going to use the liner. Not going to use the gloss though. And to be honest with you, I don't really like the way that gloss from that kit looks with the lipstick and liner anyway. I don't think pink was the way to go. I think they should have um, had a gloss to go with the lipstick. This is the Dirty Pillows lipstick. And it's definitely like a, a peachy nude. That's why the lip gloss to me doesn't go because it's like a cool tone light pink. It just doesn't go with this lipstick in my opinion. Okay, so that is that. Now, these um, these new Pout Clout lip plumping pens, um, they come in eight shades, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades if you include the clear. But I've been playing around with these I've used them on their own. I've used them over lipstick. I've used them under lipstick. And the main thing that I want to tell you about these is they tingle. Now, they tingle in a very, it's a cooling type of tingle. It's not a hot, fiery tingle. It's a cooling tingle. But it's going to depend on your sensitivity to that sort of thing. I must be a very sensitive person because on me it tingles after I apply it and the tingling doesn't really stop. Um, I can feel it up to an hour later <laughs> and sometimes it's like very distracting, you know, because you're constantly aware of it. So if you don't like, if you don't like that, then you may not like that. And I did see plumping on my lips. So this will plump your lips. Okay, I'm just going to use the, the clear one over the lips. Now as far as the formula of this goes, Okay, so that's what it looks like over the lipstick. And I'm going to take a tissue and wipe off the lipstick off this because I may want to use it with a different lipstick next time. But the formula on this, it's a balm and it's a gloss and it's thick. Um, I do like it though. It moisturizes your lips. It feels wonderful. It looks really pretty if you put it over a lipstick. I used some of the ones with color on their own. I tried using them with a lip liner. Um, I tried using them as a lip balm and then put a lipstick over it. But this, I think, is my favorite way to do it is to put it over a lipstick with a liner. And I like the effect that it gives. Um, it's very shiny. It's very glossy. It feels wonderful on your lips. Uh, perfect for this time of year. And the colors. I thought about doing a lip swatch video, but there's, there's no way. With the tingling sensation that you get with these, I, I couldn't handle that level of stimulation to take the all the colors off, wipe them off, apply more. It, it's just, it'd be too much for me to handle. But the colors are um, Black 
when you take the cap off, this whole part is the color of the product. So this is Busta Mauve, or Busta Mauve, and that coordinates with their lip liner in Mauve or Mauve Aside perfectly. Okay. The next one I'm going to show you is Just Peachy, and that coordinates with Baddest Beige. Oh, that's the one that I would use with it. Pinky Out and coordinates with Pinky Swear. And I will absolutely be using all these in upcoming videos so that you can see the colors on. Obviously, if I'm not going to do a swatch video, I want you to be able to see them. Toasted coordinates with their lip liner. Truth or Bear. Plum on over coordinates with Plum and Get It for the lip liner. And then we have Red My Mind, which coordinates with the liner Red Receipt. Now, there's only one that does not have a lip liner to coordinate with, and it's called. Wicked Cherry, and it's like a blackened, blackened red or a blackened plum. Um, but yeah, there is no liner that corresponds with that. But it's a great color, so I'm glad they included it because a lot of people really enjoy that, especially in fall and winter, that color. But yeah, I will be using all these colored ones in videos coming up for sure. Um, and I'm also going to do a video where I incorporate that NYX lip liner that I told you about. I might as well show you that too. It is the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the shade Fierce Flirt. And it's like a cool pink, but this is gorgeous and I do not have a liner this color and I forget how I came across this but um, this paired with the NYX clicky pen fat oil slick click with um, clout over that is beautiful just I mean it, they don't look like they would go together but they do this looks so pretty over this. If you line and fill in your lips with this, I did I did that already. Played with that too. So um oh and I also picked up the um the NYX click in in a mood. So I still need to incorporate that too. Plus I have some other eyeshadow palettes that I picked up that I want to do videos with with you. But that is uh, Summer Breeze and it worked out okay. I was afraid that the colors might be too deep but yeah I think it's I think the look came out pretty and um, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye.